there was a scene where uh, I don't remember which episode where Joan is uh, back to the studio. I think it's the first day she's filming Baby Jane and she's got gifts for everybody. And I said to Ryan, what if it's like in The Devil Wears Prada where she's like that, you know, that's uh, Betty Buckley. You want to know she was in Sunset Boulevard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it, he said, that's a great idea. And so then it was, I became Billy, what? Billy, Billy, so nice to see you. <laughs> Heather, her <laughs> husband died. Heather, I'm so sorry to hear about your husband. You know, so it, it became that. So some, a lot of things grew out of improvisation. And Ryan was with everybody, with Susan. Susan was a great improviser. Really? Yeah, I mean, they were all such great actors, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, I'm glad that you said that that way, because I think that sometimes people see improvisers as non-actors, as like there's a difference. Right. And they are certainly like different skill sets, the ability to be quick on your feet and have the, and inventing the lines as opposed to interpreting them. Right. But you do both so brilliantly. Both are important. Yeah. And, and there are a lot of people who now are, you know, I'm going to take classes at Upright Citizens Brigade and I'm going to be Amy Poehler. And I know that like this whole young generation, but it's so important to, to have acting classes also. It's so important because when someone's just doing, they're both invaluable, but I find that when someone's just doing that improv training, you can really tell because there were people that can see like that. You're like, oh man, they're not actors. They're, uh, they're, they're kind of, they're improvisers, but you could tell when that extra dimension is there. <laughs>